Hi everyone, in this tutorial we'll be calculating session metrics. Session metrics are metrics such as time on page, time on site, average session duration, and pages per session. Postdoc has the concept of a session, which is a group of events grouped together to represent one use of your product. We can use the session to calculate all of these various metrics. Uh, there's a time between the first event of the session and the last event of a session. And we'll be using that lots throughout this tutorial. So to start, we're going to create an insight inside our postdoc project. Uh, the insight we're going to first create is uh, time on site. So to do this, we're going to have a, a trend, a series, page view. Uh, we're going to use property value here and we're going to use sum of session duration. So when we change the y-axis to seconds, we'll be able to see our sum of session duration, and that will give us time on page. Next, we're going to be calculating time in sections. So this is a calculation of how much some time users have been spending in certain sections of your website. So we're going to choose pricing and sign up for our sections. So to do this, we're going to add a filter where the current URL contains pricing. And then we're going to use this button to copy this whole thing over and we're going to use sign up. So that will break down our graph and give us two sections. So you see that people are spending a lot more time on the sign-up page than the pricing page. And you can have this be any uh, current URL you want, and that will filter by sessions that have that URL in them. Next, we're going to do time on pages. So this is another breakdown. We're going to look at the specific pages people are spending the most time on. So uh, to do this, we're going to delete one of these uh, series. We're going to instead put docs in here and we're going to break down by current URL. So when we change the chart type to a bar chart, we're going to get a bunch of values of how long people have been spending on various pages on our site in our doc section. Um, so again, you can filter this however you like, um, but it will break down which pages people are spending the most time on. Now we're going to look at average session duration. So average session duration is quite a popular metric. Uh, Google Analytics does use it heavily and we can calculate it in PostHog very simply. We're going to get rid of the filter. We are going to instead look at property value average and then we're going to remove this breakdown as well and then go back to a line chart and we'll see we have an average session duration for our site. Next, we'll be calculating pages per session. So pages per session is calculated a little differently. Uh, we're not going to be using the property session duration value. Uh, we're instead going to be using the uh, page view total count, and we're going to be adding another value, which is again going to be page view, uh, but this time it's going to be unique sessions. We're going to remove this as well. Um, and we're going to use the formula mode to divide the total view count by the number of unique sessions. And this should give us a value of uh, about the number of pages that someone views per session. So we see here, uh, if we change the y-axis back to none, we'll get a number of page views per session. So those are some basic metrics you can calculate using sessions. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below or head over to our Slack community at posthog.com slash Slack. Uh, we also have tutorials like this one and many more on our site at posthog.com slash tutorials. Thanks for watching. Bye.